Hello everyone and welcome to this video. We'll be discussing the windows and tools of Unity. We're gonna cover some basics, but I wanna ask you to not worry if you don't understand everything that I'm showing you. The purpose of this video is to help you get comfortable with Unity environment and become familiar with what is going on here. But it doesn't mean you have to understand everything at this moment. We're going to use these windows a lot and in any case you'll have understanding why do we need them and how to use them. Right, as of now let's begin with simple. Let's go to window over here, layout and choose 2x3. This layout helps us to see scene window and a game window at the same time. So game window is an output. This is what your player will see in the end when he will play your game. And scene window is kind of a developer game view. Here you can see what is going on behind the curtain. You can control stuff, you can change them. Everything can be controlled here. All right. Now let's take this project window and move it down here. Project window needed to like contain all of the files for the project, graphics, script, sounds, everything going to be here. And as for hierarchy, we're going to discuss it a bit more in details. I'm going to click right button here, 2D sprite, and I'm going to choose square. So now in hierarchy, I have a game object that is named square. And as I said before, I can control it in the scene window. To control it, I can use tools on the left side over here. Let me click right button, horizontal. So at the moment, I've selected move tool, which allows me to move object in the scene. All right. And you can see I can control it here, but I cannot control it in the game window. Nothing is happening here. So that's the difference. Now back to the hierarchy. If we select this square and look on the right, we can see inspector. An inspector is basically a properties of game object. It shows you what values this game object has. And at the moment we can see we have sprite renderer and a transform. Both of these are called components. And we can add more components by clicking this button. And there are many of them and we're going to use them and discuss them later. As of now, let's not focus on that. Let's focus on those that we have. The basic component transform allows object to be in the space, in the world space. You can see when I'm moving the object, position over here changes. And I can control it from here as well. I can change X position or Y position. Or I can change rotation or scale. That's what I can do. Sprite renderer, on the other hand, allows you to control visuals of the object. You can change color. We can change sprite itself, we're gonna do that later, and some other properties, which I don't want to discuss now, because we don't need it at the moment. We're gonna discuss them once we work with the graphics in this project, all right? As of now, let's just keep it at white, and I'm gonna reset position. To give you another example on what is Inspector, I'm gonna go here, choose Show in Explorer, and if I choose any object here, and click properties, I can see detailed information about this object, right? That's how it works here. And this is actually very similar to this one. When you select this object, you can see all of the properties of this game object in the inspector. That's why we need it. And before we continue, I want to say thanks to all of my Patreons and give special thanks to Friendly Robot, SKT1 Mighty Poppy, Dmitry Billets, Steven and Gennady, Chen Son, and Retrobat Gamer. Thanks to you guys, these videos are possible. Let's continue. So now you know a bit more. Scene window is needed to control game objects, move them around, see what is happening in the game. Game window needed to see what the result you're gonna have. Project window needed to control all of the objects you have in the project. Hierarchy needed to control game objects in the scene only, not in the project, such as this square. And inspector needed to see all details about game object. That's basically it. This is how it is. It is simple. And the last thing I want to discuss in this video is the tools. You've seen before I can control position, rotation and scale of the object here in the inspector. And I also can do that with the tools on the left over here. If your looks as a vertical tool, you can click right button over here and choose horizontal. Now, hotkeys for these tools are extremely simple to remember. We have Q. W, E, R, T, Y. And if I click these keys, I can select between them. That's what I'm going to do a lot during the development. So I don't want you to wonder how I switch the tools so quickly. Now let's discuss them a bit. We have a hand tool, 
which allows you to move around the scene and see what you have here, what you have there. Maybe you have a big scene with a huge level, let's say. Move tool, if you select it with the mouse or with a hotkey, allows you to move object around the scene. You can place it on the platform or something like that. Rotation tool, which I'm selecting with the E, allows you to rotate object like so. Then T, oh no wait, R. The next one was R, right? The scale tool allows you to scale object as you want. But honestly, I don't think it's a good way to do it here because when you want to change scale of the object, you usually want to have particular value. So that's why you do it here in the inspector, right? I'm gonna bring it back to one. And next one is rect tool, which is comfortable to use when you just need to stretch the square to make it as a platform, let's say. You can stretch it out, place it here, rotate it back, and now we have a platform. That's how it works. And the last one with the Y contains all of the tools together, which I am personally barely using because when I need to do something particular, I'm using particular tool. That's how it works. All right, I'm going to reset the square, keep it in the middle because we're going to need it later for discussion of the components. But as of now, that's it. So as a resume, I want to say that we have Q hand tool to move around, W to move game object, E to rotate game object, R to scale, T to change transform, and Y all of them together. And the last one, I'm never using hand tool to move around the scene. I'm using my middle uh, button on the mouse, the wheel button, the one that you use to scroll. If you just hold it, you can move around the scene like so. And that's what you can do. And it is very, very convenient. Uh -huh. I think that's it for this video. Good job here. And let's go to the next one. Thanks for watching. Rest of the course will be posted on this channel shortly. Subscribe not to miss that. Check my website for more courses. Ask your questions in the comments below. And remember, we don't play games. We make them.